Jerry Judy, uh, last three games. Take a look at this. He has been targeted. So they, they've targeted him three times or 11 times in the last three games. It's less than four times a game. Three catches, 69 yards. And again, you, you traded Amari Cooper. Where, where was Jerry Judy? Well, you know, this is so I am a <laughs> obnoxious defender of Kevin Stefanski, and I will continue to be. I think Kevin Stefanski is an outstanding coach. But this is one thing I don't understand, even as a high school play caller. And, and I may not be at the level of these guys, and I understand that. These guys are outstanding at what they do. But my dad taught me a long time ago about calling plays. It's, it's players over plays. And if you watch the good teams, the best players touch the ball. And right now, Jerry Judy is one of the most talented guys on the roster. Whether he is or not, we don't know. But on paper, he's, the, he's one of their best guys. The best guys have to touch the ball. And however that is. Is if you look at what they're doing with Chase and going back to Cup in the Super Bowl, there's so many ways to get a guy the ball to only have 11 targets. That's that's wrong on Kevin's part, my in my opinion. And again, I think he's a great play designer. I think he's great play design. I know he's struggling. Uh, we've all been there as play callers. But the one thing you got to do if you go down, you got to go down with your best guys touching the ball. And Jerry Judy's one of those guys. He's a guy who can make plays. He's got to get the ball in his hands moving forward. And that's the other thing they got to figure it out going forward. They can't feel bad for themselves. No one else does. So. Jerry Judy's got to be uh, uh, one of their priorities of getting the ball moving forward, and I think they will do that, hopefully. 